you will hear a conversation between two students, Emma and Alex. Listen carefully and answer the following question. Hey, have you decided which elective course to take next semester? Not yet. I'm still trying to make up my mind. There are so many options to choose from. Well, I heard the photography class with Professor Johnson is really popular. You might want to consider that. Yeah, I thought about it, but I'm not sure if I have the right equipment for it. I don't own a professional camera. Actually, you don't need to worry about that. The school provides all the necessary equipment for the course. You'll have access to high-quality cameras and studio facilities. Oh, I didn't know that. Thanks for letting me know. Photography does sound interesting. Definitely. And if you're looking for something more hands-on, the woodworking class with Mr. Anderson is another great option. You'll learn how to create your own furniture pieces. Woodworking? That's something I've never tried before. But it does sound like a unique experience. It is. Furthermore, the class size is usually small, so you'll get a lot of personalized instruction. That's a good point. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Thanks for the suggestions, Emma. What is the conversation mainly about? What concern does Alex express about taking the photography class? Listen to a conversation between a man and a woman, and answer the following questions. You know, I've always found the idea of sharing household chores to be a bit overrated. I mean, it sounds nice in theory, but in practice, it's often more complicated. I see where you're coming from, but I genuinely believe that sharing chores is essential for a healthy relationship. It promotes equality and teamwork. Sure, but it's not always a smooth process. Different people have different standards of cleanliness, and that can lead to disagreements. That's true, but it's also an opportunity for open communication. You can both learn to compromise and find a middle ground that works for both. And what about the fact that some people are just naturally better at certain tasks? It's frustrating when one person ends up redoing what the other did. I get your point, but it's a chance to learn from each other. If one person is better at cooking and the other at cleaning, you can share your skills and improve together. But what if one partner ends up doing more chores because of work schedules or other commitments? It can create resentment. I agree that the workload should be fairly distributed, but that's where understanding and flexibility come in. You can take turns or help out more on certain days. And what about the time it takes? After a long day at work, sometimes you just want to relax, not clean the house. I understand that, but chores can also be an opportunity to spend time together and bond. Plus, having a clean and organized home can actually contribute to your relaxation. All right, I see your point, but I still think it's not as easy as it sounds. It requires a lot of effort and coordination. No doubt it's a challenge, but it's a challenge worth taking on. It fosters teamwork, helps you learn about each other's strengths, and ultimately strengthens your relationship. According to the men, what does sharing chores promote? How does the men view the differences in skills when it comes to chores? What does the men emphasize as necessary for a successful distribution of chores? <laughs> 